Welcome back. Those round of fixtures have been completed, and there's been some interesting results. Some expected, some very much not. The first round that we'll talk about is the Undead Failures versus the Emperor's Eagles, the team of Lewis Nadam, Undead and Humans. It was very nearly a death in this game, from what I overheard. And it took an uncomfortably long time for the apothecary to remember. I should probably try to save the man's life. The necromancers were lined up, they were ready to go. Necro apothecary saved. Unfortunate. Still a casualty result, but unfortunate. Ended up with a niggling injury instead, which is better, but the thrower was not happy to have been killed and brought back. The score ended 3-2 to two with a 1-1 to one on casualties. Swimwear got himself two touchdowns and one touchdown scored by Scrub Blitzer to get the win. It was a very interesting game. And with some injuries on both sides of the field, we'll have a look at what they going to have to be doing in the next round. The other interesting match, the second one, Mother's Love versus the Hairy Fairies. Nurgle, Sam, Tom, Fairies, Dwarves. It's a very interesting game, considering the Dwarves had got how to play Blood Bowl. They didn't get on the score sheet once. They were more interested in fighting which they also lost on. The score ended 2-0 to Mother's Love with a whopping 3-1 on casualties as well. Next time, my personal suggestion to the Dwarfs is focus less on punching the biggest thing on the pitch and focus on the little egg-shaped thing and get it to the end zone. We'll see if it has any bearing in the next game. The game following this is the Daves versus the Warpstone Lovers. Chaos against Skaven. Many of you are going to be expecting here Rats to have scored 10 touchdowns but lost half their players. Did they score 10 touchdowns? No. Just two. The Daves also scored one. <clears throat> the big surprise, though, is the 4-1 to one on casualties in favour of the Skaven, including two of the Beastmen having their strength characteristics reduced by horrific injuries, which, from what's coming from the Dave camp, they're swiftly going to be fired and replaced. Preferably with journeymen. People who probably know how to not get beaten around by tiny, fragile rats. Also, their Minotaur was one of the injured and will be out for the next game. And the final fixture was the Mad Cows versus the Roaring Rovers. Very, very tight game, all in all. And did another 2-1 victory to the Roaring Rovers, which does leave the Mother's Love the only team to win by more than one touchdown. It was also 2-1 on casualties, however, to the Mad Cows. The Roaring Rovers lost one of their important wraiths, but... The one casualty that was dealt back is insignificant to the fact that the Roaring Rovers managed to push one of the beastmen into the crowd. Sirloin. The crowd did as they do best. They killed him. Straight up. One fan got a bit over eager and you know how it'd be. But the Roaring Rovers were on hand. They made sure. The guy was brought back. He's okay. But he's wearing a different jersey, as he's now joined the Roaring Rovers team and held a significant part in making sure that the victory stayed with the Roaring Rovers. Moving over to the league table, which you can see above me. 
this is how the table now looks after the first round of fixtures. Topping the table is Mother's Love on six points, three casualties, with a touchdown difference of two. They have managed to not concede. Other teams at the top of the table, as it stands, are the Warpstone Lovers, the Emperor's Eagles, and the Roaring Rovers, with the foot of the table being held by the Hairy Fairies, who forgot how to score, along with the Daves, the Mad Cows, and the Odd Dead Failures. It's early doors for the league table. Things are going to change very, very quickly, at least until the halfway point of the season when we're going to start to see teams really making a big, big difference. But early doors, early doors. We're starting to see what teams might be doing what. And hopefully we can see some improvements. Looking at the ones that lost, I would probably say the ones to look out for are the Mad Cows and the Undead Failures, considering they put up the biggest fight against those that they lost to. The Daves, while did well and managed to keep the Skaven at bay from scoring freely, did suffer casualties for it. The Hairy Fairies just seem to want to create Fight Club, but we, we don't we don't we don't talk about that. Like that's a come back come back next week for that. Yeah. Top of the table. We'll see who pulls away from each other. But the most important important thing is moving on to next round of fixtures, which, as the date stands, are going to be played on the 25th of January. I'll repeat, the 25th of January, and the fixtures are as follows. <clears throat> the Hairy Fairies, led by Tom, will play the Undead Failures, two of the losers from the first week. Can one of them get Repentance, or will it be a stale draw? We'll see. The Emperor's Eagles, after scoring the most touchdowns in the first week of fixtures, scoring three, are going up against the expected favourites for the top scorers of the Warpstone Lovers. So we're going to get some humans, get on getting some rats, get some pesticide. It'll help. Next, two of the victors, the Roaring Rovers against Mother's Love. Necromantics against Nurgle. It's going to be very, very interesting. The Roaring Rovers don't have much in the way of ball playing ability and are easily pushed around, but they have very, very strong tactics and are very sneaky. Mother's Love have six strength four and up <coughs> players, considering one of their rotters hit the gym before the season. The final fixture. It's going to be an all chaos round as we got the Mad Chaos versus the Daves. But. It's not going to be the Minotaur or Minotaur volumes you expected or wanted. The Batista is taking a nap and he's currently injured, as we'll call it. But it'll still be a very good game, considering both put up impressive fights against their counterparts. It's just one had a few extra trips to the infirmary than the other, although one, the other team did have to go to the mortuary. Yeah. But we'll see. So these are to be played on the 25th and will be reported on as soon as I get all the results back in. And for those that are wondering right there, if you want to sponsor this league, or if you want your own league read and commentated on, get in touch. We'll get it done. Once again, have a good, good day. We'll get these games played. And I'll be praised.